Today, let's take a look at the smallest Winlink kit I've ever built. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Now, before we dive into the bag, I just wanted to give you guys kind of a size comparison between the two so you can kind of better understand why I wanted to get a bit of a smaller kit. I love my two meter EDC kit, but you can see the size difference between these two. This one has a lot of capabilities, including a radio actually in on the top, but sometimes this one is just too bulky. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what I have included with this particular bag. On the outside, you'll find a couple of things. In this outside mesh compartment, I just keep an empty Ziploc bag. This is the freezer style Ziplocs. Just a handy little thing to have around. I've used it from everything from, uh, say, protecting paper from the rain if I had notes or something that I didn't want to get wet. I've also used it to put rocks in and use string to get an antenna up into a tree. Another thing that I keep out here is this Night Eyes carabiner. Again, just handy when you want to maybe uh, clip the antenna to the end of some string when you're trying to hoist it up into the tree. Let's go ahead and open the bag and take a look at the inside contents. Now, one of the things to note right up front, the primary purpose of this kit is to support my primary communications device, that being my cell phone. So what you'll find over on this side is the tools that I might need to recharge my phone. I've got a cable here, it's a USB cable. This is a double purpose cable, so this is the lightning connector for an iPhone device. If you pull off that little end, then you get a micro USB. Not too many phones are using micro USB anymore, but I could use it to also charge up another device that we'll be looking at here in just a minute. This cable is uh, USB-A to USB-C. I do keep a few zip ties in this, just a couple of small ones. I think there's about six of them there. And then I keep a 10,000 milliamp hour battery over in this compartment as well. So that's plenty to charge up my phone and maybe uh, my wife's or my friends or whoever happens to be with me at least give us both a full recharge. So that side pretty much takes care of my cell phone. On the other side, this is more ham radio related stuff. So what we'll find here, I've got one of these uh, gear ties that I keep in here. Just always a handy little item to have. Sometimes we don't need to zip tie something. Sometimes we can just use this little gear tie and accomplish the task at hand. In the bottom here, you'll see that I keep some string. I think this is about 30 feet of string. I wanted to put paracord in this bag, but trying to get 30 feet of paracord in here was just too bulky and it wouldn't fit. So what I ended up going with is number 36 bank line and i'll leave a link to this down in the description below but if you're familiar with mason's line it's very uh, very similar to mason line but this is impregnated with tar so it lasts a real long time when you're using it out in the field and doesn't just uh, get destroyed even if you leave it outside for uh, up to a year or so. Below that, I've got uh, two different things here. First is the MobiLink TNC. Uh, this is the TNC3, so it works with both the iPhone and Android devices. Just to the left of that, I've got two different cables that cover the vast majority of the HTs that I'm going to carry with me. So this one here is for the um, FT65R, that's a Yaesu radio. And then this one is marked as the FT5, but it also fits the FT70. So either one of those radios will work with this. And basically, those are the only three radios that I carry with me at any time. So that's going to cover all of my bases. Above that, you're going to find a roll-up J-pole style antenna. I have went ahead and put an adapter on this one for BNC since I have moved all of my HTs over to the BNC style connector. 
I purchased this one several years ago off of eBay from a gentleman. I believe his uh, screen name was Nelson Antennas. I have gone back and looked and cannot find this antenna again. There is another guy, I believe uh, his call is November 9 Tango Alpha X-Ray, and he makes a fantastic roll-up J-Pole as well. However, the one thing I liked about this one was the compact size once you've got it completely rolled up. Uh, I wish I could find more of these because I would definitely buy a couple more. The downside to them is I think they're only rated at like 10 or 15 watts. I mean, this is using some really small twin lead stuff here. And I can tell you from personal experience, if you run 50 watts through this guy for very long, you will melt the antenna. Below that is the cell phone. Now, this is an inexpensive track phone that I bought off of Amazon. It's one of the prepaid varieties, and I didn't bother to connect up service to this phone. I really only wanted it to do ham radio related things with this particular kit. Now, I've got a couple of different applications on here for ham radio. Primarily, I'm going to be using Wode or Winlink on Android, and that's the app you see down here in the bottom left corner. I'll leave links to this down in the description below if you're interested in downloading and playing with the Wode app. Uh, unfortunately, it's not available for iPhone, and that's why I picked up this uh, Android phone to go in this particular kit. Beside that, uh, the next app is APRS Droid. So even if I'm working with the FT65, which doesn't have APRS built in like the FT5, I can still turn that particular radio into an APRS rig. Just to the right of that, you'll find the configuration app for the MobiLink TNC. And then the other three things that I keep on this phone is documentation for the Woad app. So I've got the full manual in a PDF. And then I've got nifty manuals for both the FT70 and the FT5 radio. So I just took my nifty manuals, scanned those into PDF files so that I could have an electronic copy with me in this kit without having to drag around the large booklet. So now I've got the option of two different kits when I leave out. My primary 2 meter EDC kit when I need full capabilities, but if I want to pack a little bit lighter that day, this kit should fill in nicely without me missing too many functions that I have in the larger kit. Guys, thank you for tuning in today. If you found this information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.